Now, once we understand how we can create the navigation menu for this website, let's take a look at how we can create the footer. So I'm going to open the header.js and before we move to the footer and the main section, let me just wrap this anchor tags in the link component so we can easily navigate in the block. I'm going to just import link component from next link and then I'm going to use this as a wrapper to this anchor tag. So here I'm going to paste that link like this grab this anchor tag and paste that right inside this link something like this and to this link component we need to specify href attribute so just for now i'm going to specify here forward slash i'm going to just specify here root route to this design let me just use this link tag to this social icons as well so here i'm going to pass link grab this anchor tag paste that inside this link something like this and then to this link, we specify href attribute. So we specify here href. And inside this, I'm going to specify my social icon path. I'm just going to specify the root link to this social media icons. So here I'm going to say href and pass the root route. Something like this. Now the header is successfully completed. Let me just back to the explorer. And here we create the footer inside this component folder. So I'm going to create a new file here and name that file footer.js and inside this file I'm going to first create a react functional component let me get it off this import statement like this and then I'm going to save this file just out of that we need this footer just out of this navigation menu so inside this index.js right here I'm going to import footer from the footer file and then we pass that footer just out of this header and I save the changes here I'm gonna have my footer you can notice if I change its font size using class name text 3xl then we'll change the font size of this footer text now what I want between this footer and this header right between these components right here I want my main component so here I'm gonna say main and here I'm gonna create my main component let me save this so between this header and this footer I'm going to create my main components later I'm going to show you how to create this footer just for now let's create this main section what I'm going to do is instead of doing this I'm going to create a layout component and put the header and footer inside it so every time when we make a new page we can easily access the header and the footer or if you want this header and the footer in all the pages you can easily put that inside the app.js file right inside this app component but I'm going to recommend you to use a layout component. So let me show you how you can use it. So what I'm going to do is here inside this block, I'm going to create a new folder and name that folder layout. And inside this, I'm going to create a new file. Name that file format.js. That's upon you. You can specify any name to this file. Inside this file, I'm going to simply say export default function and function name is format inside this format I'm going to return JSX so we're just going to print a div with layout component text just out of that I'm going to back to the index.js right here I'm going to import my format from the format file and I'm going to use this format as a wrapper to this header and the footer like this instead of div I'm using here format now when I save the changes you're only going to get the format file this is because I use here wrapper to this header and this footer now what I want I also want to display the child of this layout to do that I'm just going to first import my header and footer inside this file so here I'm going to say import header from the header file and import footer from the footer file then i'm going to get rid of this division tag and then i'm going to add my header here and the footer and between this header and footer i'm going to add my main component with main content now let me just back to the index.js get rid of this header and the footer get rid of this import statement as well as well as i'm going to remove the style as well save this file back to the footer save this file and now you can see you have your navigation menu and the footer and you also have your main component 
now what i want using this layout i'm going to specify the default title to all the pages to do that we need to import head from next head and then inside this here we need to add head like this and then specify title to it title is going to be block now when i save the changes you will see this block title to this page when i save it you can see you have this block title to this page so this is the default title to all my pages if you want you can customize this head section inside a page as well we will look at that later just for now just specify the default head and inside this main content what i want i want to import my components so instead of this hard coded value i'm going to call here children's as a property so we pass here an object and then pass children and then we pass the children inside this main content something like this when i save the changes right now you're not going to see anything this is because inside this index.js right here we don't have any content so if i add here h1 heading tag with main content you can see you have your main content inside this main section next we'll see how we can make the first section of this block 